That's the wrong number. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. My, 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 my music hit me so hard. Makes me say, oh my Lord, thank you for blessing me. What am I doing? this yeah that's how we living and you know you can't touch this look at my eyes man you can't touch this yo let me bust the funky lyrics touch this. fresh new kids and bands you got it like that now you know you want to dance so move out of your seat and get a fight girl and catch this beat while it's rolling hold on pump a little bit and let the noise go on like that like that This. Yo, sound the bell. School is in, sucker. You can't touch this. Give me a song. A rhythm. Make them WCBH proudly presents CV Today. Good afternoon. Today is Friday, October 20th. Now over to Lexi with some more announcements. The quote of the day today is, When all else is lost, the future still remains. By Christian Estelle Bove. Today's weather is sunny with a high of 71 and a low of 45. Today's lunch is French toast sticks with a hot combo of grilled chicken sandwich. Tomorrow's lunch is a buckskin burger with a hot combo of the chicken filet sandwich. Now over to headline news. Former President George W. Bush hasn't spoken much about politics since leaving the White House nearly a decade ago. But that all changed on Thursday. We've seen our discourse degraded by casual cruelty. At times it can seem like the forces pulling us apart are stronger than the forces binding us together. And although the 43rd president never mentioned President Trump's name, people of every race, religion, ethnicity can be fully and equally American. It seemed pretty clear who he was referring to. I think the fact that you have a former Republican president of the United States speaking out in such clear terms, condemning to Trumpism, broadly writ, matters. And Mr. Bush wasn't the only former president to take the stage on Thursday. Some of the politics we see now, we, we thought we put that to bed. <laughs> I, I mean, that, 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 that's folks looking 50 years back. Former President Obama also didn't mention his successor by name. We've got folks who are deliberately trying to make folks angry, to demonize people who have different ideas. The two speeches by Bush and Obama were unrelated and in different states, but analysts say there were a lot of similarities. What's very clear today is that Barack Obama and George W. Bush are closer to each other than either one of them is to Donald Trump. I'm Sophia Steed, reporting. Attention sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Jocelyn's class rings will be having a family night on Thursday, October 26th in the high school main lobby from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Rings and tags will be on display and your ring size will be taken. Orders will also be taken on Friday, October 27th during lunches at the high school cafeteria. Please go to Justins.com to design your ring or tag, print your order form and bring it to family night or order day, or you can bring the order form found in the ring packets. Extra order packets are in the main office and available in the cafeteria during lunches. Now over to an announcement from Link Crew. Attention freshmen. Are you going to this Friday's football game or do you just like to hang out with your friends? Then the freshman tailgate is the perfect place to come and chill. The tailgate is this Friday before the final home football game against Hempfield. Play your friends in Cornhole or Can Jam, eat free hot dogs, and drink free drinks. Who doesn't love free anything? Also, you can try to destroy Mr. DePerna, who is undefeated in Can Jam. From 5.30 to 6.30 in the Whitmer parking lot on October 20th, you'll be able to play games and hang out with your link leaders and fellow freshmen. 
Be there and support our football team. We'll see you there, freshmen. The Scythe books are finally in. Of those who voted for Scythe, the following people's names were picked to win a free copy of the book. Elizabeth McCombs, Nancy Figueroa, Kiara Diaz Gutierrez, Owen Henry, Kiara Suple. If your name is on that list, please see Mrs. Borden in room 116 for your free copy of Scythe. And thanks for voting. Attention all juniors. The Gertrude Hawk Chocolate Fundraiser order forms and money were due to Mr. Helms on Tuesday. If you forgot to drop off your form, you can still do so until Monday, 10-23. Please see Mr. Helms in room 220 with any questions. Now over to an announcement from Mr. Cap. Mr. Capalupo representing the guidance office here to tell you about two exciting events coming up here at Conestoga Valley. The first of which is Financial Aid Night, Monday, October 23rd at 6 o'clock. Very important for our seniors, but also for our juniors and your parents to come and learn about how to fill out the financial aid forms for college. We also have College Night, Monday night, November 6th, an awesome night, over 250 colleges here just for you. We have awesome seminars that night on how to apply to a college. We do this every year. It's never too early to go to college night. So even our freshmen and sophomores, we think it's a great night for you, but especially our juniors and seniors, awesome events here at Conestoga Valley. Now, you may be wondering why I have these gentlemen here with me today. We'd like to talk about the Philadelphia Eagles. As you can see, we're representing with our gear. And as you know, I lost my lucky pen, but I have it back. And since I reacquired my pen, the Eagles have won four games in a row. So I must have superpowers, or at least my pen has superpowers. And we believe that the Philadelphia Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl. And so, therefore, I am starting a Super Bowl parade planning committee. President, vice president, and treasurer, we're looking for a secretary. We're going to be holding interviews for that. So we're going to have a big parade with the marching band. It's going to be awesome when they win. But I'd like to talk to my boys now about why they're going to win the Super Bowl. So Riley, I'm going to hand it over to you. Why do you think the Philadelphia Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl? I think they're going to win the Super Bowl. They have a really strong defense. Mm -hmm. um, they really are playing more aggressive. They've gotten a better defense in general with picking up Darby, even though he's hurt. Right. Um, Fletcher Cox has come back strong. Everybody's just been doing much better. That's right. And, and the Cowboys? Well, they suck. Right. Because Zeke Elliott got them got himself suspended. Okay, and Riley works at the Eagles end zone. He's a genius because he gets a 20% discount on all his gear. This is Michael Lefever who caught the uh, winning touchdown against Solanco. He's a CV legend now. Michael, why do you think the Eagles are going to win the Super Bowl? Well, uh, I think they're going to win the Super Bowl because they have the number one running back in the league, LeGarrette Blunt. Uh, pretty much uh, no defense can stop him. No defense can stop so, him. That's partially the reason why. Uh, the defense is strong. Offense is looking good with Carson Wentz. That's so. right. They have no weakness. Hand it over to Kyle Lapp. Kyle Lapp, just an all-around cool guy. Kyle, why are they going to win the Super Bowl? They're going to win the Super Bowl because Carson Wentz and Zach Gertz cannot be stopped together. My man Addison Dieter knows what's up, too. That's right. Super Bowl parade planning committee. I'm not afraid to say it. It's going to happen in these hallways when we win it. It's going down this year. So remember, college night, financial aid night coming up. Thank you so much for your attention. The lucky pen will bring it home. My boys are representing. Go CV. Haven't ordered a yearbook yet? There will be a raffle for the remainder of the week to win a yearbook. That's right. You can win a yearbook for $1. You have until today at 2 to stop in the library to enter. The winner will be announced at 2.40 today afternoon. Good luck. Attention all music ensemble students. We are selling Pelman cakes in order to raise money for your music accounts. Information can be found on Sapphire or on the bulletin board outside the choir room. If you want to participate in a Chicago performance trip and you have not turned in your deposit in form, please do, please do so ASAP. Now over to Film Talk. You don't own me.
Okay, so that's my idea for the opening skit. You can't just go around breaking the rules. You can't encourage that. Yeah, it's true. I'm just being silly. And I'm Tegan. And this, this is, is Film Talk. Talk. Well, we're in that time of the year when I don't know if I should uh, dress in a jacket or a t-shirt and shorts. So that sucks. Yeah, Mother Nature is kind of weird this time of year, isn't she? Speaking of Mother Nature, she's playing a starring role in all three of our movies. The first film being very topical with the forest fires going on in California. It's called Only the Brave and it's based on a dramatic true story. It's based on the stories of 19 selfless firefighters who gave their lives battling a raging forest fire in Arizona back in 2013. Starring Miles Teller and Jeff Bridges, this film looks worth a watch. The next film of Man vs. Nature is Jungle, starring Daniel Radcliffe of Harry Potter. The movie tells of a man who must survive on his own in the Amazon after his fellow travelers perish in an accident. It looks like another survival movie where the main character must live off of next to nothing. I feel like it's been done already, but who knows, maybe it'll be a good film. And finally, the feature film for this week is Geostorm. Finally, it looks like the world can control the weather, except for the fact that the satellites controlling it malfunction and almost destroy the world with natural disasters. It looks like a pretty run-of-the-mill action flick which stars Gernard Butler as its lead. But there's no way I'm going to see this cheesy action movie. Ugh. Whether or not you see this film, Tornay, don't spoil the ending for anybody. That's it. No more weather puns. Have a look, CV. Fine, I guess I'll just storm away then. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Attention winter athletes. Sports physicals are due by 3 p.m. on Friday, November 10th. If your last sports physical is before June 1st, you need a new one. If you turn in a sports physical to Mrs. Hess between June 1st and October 6th, you need a parent research. Pick up and return forms in the main office or at the athletic training room. No other forms or notes are acceptable. Now over to CV Sports. Attention any student interested in participating in the 2017-18 rifle team. There will be an informational meeting on Thursday, October 26th at 3 p.m. in the LGI. This is a very important meeting. Only serious students need to attend. You will need to have a ride home pre range The meeting will be over by 4 p.m. Any questions, please see Coach Oxendine. There will be bowling open gym every Friday at 4 p.m. at Dutch Lanes until November 10th. It's $6 per person. There is a swim meeting for parents and swimmers on October 24th at 7.30 p.m. in room 173. Anyone interested in coming out for the swim team should be at this meeting. Swimmers are not required to attend, but first year swimmers are encouraged to attend. Sign up sheets are available during lunches in the cafeteria and available anytime outside the athletic office. There's a home football game against Hemfield at 7. It's senior night, so of course I expect everyone to be there. If you're not, then who are you? Come out and support the Bucks. Now over to sports highlights. Hello. 
Lynch is in the backfield and rolling out his car and he's got his target. That is Jared Cook, the tight end. Then in the game, the Raiders do. He's going to toss it back to Carr. And he's looking long. And it is caught by Cooper for the touchdown on the flea flicker. Going with some of the Raiders after he had been called for the late hit. Here's a second and ten. He's got room. He's got a first down, and he's out of bounds at the 46 and does not take a hit. He feels fine. That should be done with. Third and six. Takes something off of it. To the end zone, and it was in the hands for a moment for Cook. But Murray may have uh, gotten a hand right in there and knocked it away. King on the hold, and Tavecchio drills this one dead center. Gets it down to a one-score game. Oh, it looks like a catch, as long as that ball didn't move right there as it hit. He had control. I mean, can you believe that? Is he down before? He's is down, he down before. before. He is down. Now, this is great right here. Ooh. Which it will. Yeah, it does. Here's Carr. Quick pass to the inside of his car. And a flag is down. A flag is down. Crabtree caught it. Did he push off? Are they going to pick up the flag or are they going to keep it? Ooh. They're discussing whether to pick up the flag or not. Pass interference. Crabtree turns on Mitchell. And that's going to be confirmed for sure, not a doubt. Now to That's all the announcements we have for you today. On behalf of WCVH, I'm Matt. Alongside Pearl. And this is CV Today. Have a Fighting Friday.